What's up guys, this is part 4 of the full AMV tutorial for beginners and today we're going to cover how to do no layers or how to do pan crop which is basically like zooming in and pan your clip so it moves to the left or right or up or down. So let's just get right into the video. Alright, so this is where we left off on the previous video. So we made our velocity like this and the first thing we're going to do now is add a no layer. So we're going to select the first clip then Control alt plus shift and then plus Y. So this is the keybind to add a new layer. You can also right click new and then here on null object. So that does the same thing. All right, now we're going to cut it. So control shift plus D to the length of our clip like this. So I've seen people copy it like one or two times, but for now we're going to start with one null layer and we're going to link it to our clip. So you want to select your clip, then drag this thing onto the null layer like this. All right, and now as you can see, this will change to null one. And now if you change the scale of our null layer, for example, you can see it will also change the scale of our clip, which is really nice. All right, so this clip is kind of still, and then it goes into a clip where the head moves to the right. So I think on these particular clips, it will look cool if the clips would slide to the left, and then this clip would slide from the right to the left in, so it would make for a good transition. So we'll press P, and then we're going to start not completely in the beginning, but maybe somewhere around here and then make a keyframe and then towards the end I like to do it one frame before it so I explained it in the previous tutorial this is actually the last frame of your clip and not this one so we're going to make a keyframe here too and now we're going to slide it to the left or wait no to the right I always do it the wrong way for some reason so yeah you want to slide it to the right so when the clips go to the right you can transition from the right to the left in this clip too all right, now as you can see, it does have this black bar here, so we're going to fix that later. Uh, we're going to slide it a little more to the right, and now we're going to select keyframes and press F9. And then here we can go into the graph editor and make sure we're in speed graph. So right click and then speed graph. All right, and then you can either do this if you want to use a speed graph. So use this kind of graph, or you can also separate the uh, dimensions. So just right click and then separate dimensions. And then here you can just remove the Y value, which is basically going from the top to the bottom. Um, and we won't need that, so we're only sliding to the right. All right, and then now if you press F9 and then go into the graph editor, you can see if you right click and go into the value graph, we'll be able to use this one too. So we're going to make this kind of graph. Wait one second, yeah, like this. So make it like really sharp, like this. All right, so now we still got this black bar problem. There's two ways to fix it. The first one um, is kind of an ugly one. It's to use motion tiles or CC repeat tile. Sometimes you have to use motion tile or CC repeat tile, but for now we're first going to fix it with a scale property. So we're going to select our null layer, press S, and then we're going to go somewhere around here again and then make a keyframe. All right, then go to the end again and then zoom it in like this. And then just F9, graph editor, and do the exact same thing. All right, let's go like this. Let's put the keyframe a little bit closer. All right, so now as you can see, there's a little bit less of the black bar. But of course, there's still going to be something. So we need to fix that with CC repeat tile. All right, let's add the effect on your clip. So not on your null layer. So make sure it's on your clip. And then you want to set it to 200. 200. So every value here. And then set it to unfold. All right, so now as you can see, it kind of hides it a little. Uh, but it depends on your clip. Like if you have a face here, then sometimes it can look weird because there will be like three eyes, for example. So yeah, you just got to see it for yourself. Uh, but for this clip, it actually doesn't look really bad because it just looks like the original clip. All right, as you can see, we did the first clip. We didn't use multiple null layers because it's just not necessary. We could use multiple, um, but that's when we want to add another scale, for example. So now we're kind of stuck with only this scale. And if we want our clip to zoom in, for example, we would need another layer so it can overlap. Uh, but I'll just show that in the next clip. So we're going to add another layer, Control Alt plus Shift plus Y, and then let's copy it once. All right, now we can go to the original clip, then drag this to the clip above it, and then drag this to the null layer above that. All right, so now we linked the original clip to the null layer above it, and this null layer will be linked to the null layer above that. All right, so first we're going to start with a position. So press P and then make a keyframe. And then here we can move it to the left. And now we're going to pan it to the right. So make a keyframe. And then we can just set this to zero again. All right, now let's separate them. 
You can actually do this before we added the keyframes, but I just forgot. So let's just remove the Y. All right, and now we can go into the graph editor again, like this. So first it goes really steep, which means it goes really fast. And then it goes slower and slower. All right, and we can make it a little bit smoother, like this. And actually we can drag this out even more. All right, like that. So we really accentuate the slow part, which can look really nice, uh, like this clip here. All right, then here we're just going to add CC Repetal again. So we can actually just copy it and bring it over here. And as you can see, again, with this clip, it doesn't look too bad because it's mostly white and then there's just this one black line, but it's kind of subtle, so no one really cares. Now we're going to go to our second null layer. And the reason is because we're going to add another position, but we can't do this on the same one because otherwise we would have to make the keyframe here. And then we would have a very short moment uh, between this keyframe and this one here. So that wouldn't look good. All right, so select the top one, press P, make a keyframe. And then here we're going to overlap it. So more towards here. All right, so now as you can see, we pan to the right. And then we can already pan it to the top, for example, uh, with this one above it. So we're going to separate dimensions and then remove the X one this time. All right, and we're going to move it towards the top. As you can see, this one is a little less subtle because his hair doesn't really look good, but we can fix that again with the scale. All right, let's press F9, go to the graph editor. And then here, let's do the exact same thing. All right. All right, so now you can see it very clearly, but if you would drag this out even more, you will be able to see that it kind of overlaps. So we go to the right and we can already go to the top, as you can see, but this one looks really bad. So let's just reset it. Okay, that looks really smooth. Now we can um, add a scale again. So let's press S and we'll just increase it a little like this and then go here and reset it. All right, and now you can make the exact same graph again, like this. Okay, let's drag it out a little more, because as you can see, it doesn't really look smooth if we keep it like this. You can kind of see the transition between moving up and scaling and moving to the right. So that doesn't look really good. So you always wanna make sure that it just looks like one smooth motion. All right, we could even make a fake zoom and that is just um, like when you zoom out or you zoom in and then afterwards you do the opposite. So you can just do that by dragging this one down. So this is something kind of unusual, but if you've seen it before, this is how you do it. But now we kind of got to make it a little smoother. All right, let's drag it out. All right, so now we got this. And as you can see, we got this, like little artifacts here uh, in his hair, for example. So you just got to try to hide it as much as possible because these things usually don't look very good. But if they're subtle like this, then usually people don't really care. All right, and then the last clip, we're going to add a null layer again and cut it again like this. And then we're going to make a smooth transition to go upwards. So let's link it again like this, press P on the null layer. And then we're going to start at the bottom, copy our CC repeat tile. And then here, as you can see, we got like this black bar here, but it's very thin. And we can fix that by just firstly removing the CC repetal and then let's pre-compose it and move all the attributes to a new composition. All right, so now if we move it down like this, let's just reset it and then scale it up a little bit like 102. And then we can go back and then here we want to link it again. So let's just go here. And then as you can see, if we add CC repetal, now the black bar is gone. All right, so we'll go up not too much, and then make a keyframe. And then here, we'll just go to the end of the clip, somewhere around here, and make it like this again. All right, and then I forgot to separate the dimensions again, so we just gotta do that quickly. And then remove the X one this time, because we're only using the Y one. All right. We can make it a little smoother. All right, let's give it a look. And it doesn't look too bad but in the next tutorials, we'll fix it with like blurs and other effects. So that's definitely possible. All right, hopefully you've learned a lot. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. And if you want me to help you even more with After Effects, then make sure to go to the first link in the description down below. All right, bye-bye.